Let's get this win, MP. Contenders, Grant, how hard is it to stay focused during this home stretch of the regular season? It is hard, but you know, the best teams have the strong leadership, BA. They have guys that help you stay locked in as a group, so you don't lose sight of the overall goal. So let's take a look at the starters for the Philadelphia 76ers. They've got MP, Kawhi Leonard out there with Joel Embiid. Then there's LeBron James, and it's Maxi in at the shooting guard. And so it's James with it. He brings it up for Philadelphia. Leonard finds MP. Connects again from distance. And who thought it couldn't be done? That three moving him into history. You could feel it as soon as it left his hand. He is the king of the three and now stands alone at the top of the list. And what an incredible achievement from MP recently. Grant, he turned in one of the most efficient games you will ever see. Well, you talk about what it means to dominate. MP was the definition of that with his performance. Now, everything fell for him, and it looked like he was a man amongst boys. Grant, when teams come to play the Denver Nuggets, it's not just another regular game in a normal city. Yeah, I mean, the altitude of the mile-high city is an adjustment for many players, B.A. Even if some guys say it doesn't affect them, don't let them fool you. <laughs> it takes some getting used to. Trust me, I know. And MP reminding the D how effective he is from deep. Nice three ball. Jokic with a screen on MP. Murray for three. And another miss by Denver. Credit to him for trying to get that three right back. Missed the shot, but that's a fighter's mentality. MP shot is good. The defense is nowhere to be found guarding the three-point shot. Denver has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Murray passes to Jokic. Shot to stop the run. That one goes. Count it. The court awareness on full display. Jokic is such a unique big man. From deep, MP. And the 76ers, another three. He's putting on a show this quarter, and the team's feeding off his energy. It's stolen by MP. James, outside. MB to screen on Porter. And here's MP from outside. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. We talk about efficiency. Getting out to a nice lead. Great flow and great execution. And stolen by Leonard. It's two on one. The finish! And MB throws it down. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. Couldn't come up with a much better start than this. They just have to keep it going. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Fires the three. 
It goes again. His sixth basket and seven tries. Oh, it's just raiding threes for them early. Have game, will travel. These fans seeing what he's all about. And he continues to add to his season total, knocking him down from long range. Well, so much of outside shooting is about rhythm, and he's been 100% locked in all year. It has led to unprecedented production. Gobert's checked in for the Sixers. Harris comes in for Maxi, And let's use this time to take a look at the player of the week in the Eastern Conference, MP. When you think about everything he's done on the offensive end, he's more than deserving of this award. He put his team on his back when it came to putting points on the board. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Murray from outside. Rebounded by Kawhi Leonard. And he's having an ugly quarter from the field. It seems really frustrated. From deep, MP. Yes, and it's MP. Leonard with the assist that time. MP's got 21. <laughs> They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Murray deciding where to go with it. Pass to Foster. Clock at six. Now Porter to halt the run. The Nuggets with another miss. MP against Murray. And here's MP from outside. And the 76ers, another three. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Here's Gordon. And again, Denver no good. Well, uh, okay, well, I like his aggressiveness, but, like, the defense was waiting on him that time. The three. MP again MP. from deep. Three. He's got 27. 12 straight points off threes. This defense is not extending very well. And the Nuggets call time here. for the Nuggets. Jokic is checked in for Gordon. Brown comes in for Michael Porter. Watson, he's checked in for Caldwell Pope. And it's Horton Tucker in for Murray. Reed's checked in for Philadelphia. Joseph comes in for MP. Here's Watson. Looking at the numbers, he's putting up seven points a game. Outside Horton Tucker. Pass to Jokic. To the middle. Outside Horton Tucker. Hits the trifecta. I know what they say. Defense wins championships, but you need some bucket getters too now. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Fast break. Here come the Nuggets. Jokic with it. Outside Horton Tucker. Fires from deep. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Here's Harris. Oh, the teardrop falls in. Building a big advantage early with a terrific round performance. They got off to such a hot start, and that can keep you energized throughout the whole game. And so it's MP making things happen for the Philadelphia 76ers. And so far, nine triples in this one. Just pulling the trigger with absolute confidence. Back to the game after this break. You're just tuning in we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard but plenty of time left for a comeback 
and an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the 76ers. Showing their energy so far, sprinting up and down the floor, getting out in transition and taking advantage. And something else I've noticed is how they've been able to cause turnovers and take advantage of them on the offensive end, not wasting those extra chances at all. They've got Nikola Jokic. Christian Brown out there with Taylor and Horton Tucker. And it's Foster in at the power forward position. That's the group for Denver getting going in the second. And we heard some coaches saying the league punishes retaliation. And that might even encourage players to instigate. Grant, you think he's got a point? You know, B.A., I think he does. I mean, if guys are creating a dust-up to try to get opposing star players thrown out, the officials cannot reward that. And he's very confident from that range. But he can't make them all. Gordon Tucker, the pass to Foster. Philadelphia grabs the miss. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Joel Embiid talked about setting the tone. He said it's not easy being a leader. I'm not an off-the-court guy. I'm more reserved. But on the court, I show up. That's the way I like to lead, dominating on the court, offensively, defensively, and try to bring everybody along with me. Ryan? He does it well, for sure. Allie, thanks for that. Here's Joseph, defended by Horton Tucker. Harris up top. The three is up. And the three-pointer goes. Harris has got five points. Returning fire. Harris wanted them to know he can answer. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Pass to Embiid. And the shot is good. Harris making the play. Just a beautiful job of scanning the floor, finding the open man. Harris looking to involve his teammates. And Joel Embiid is a rarity in many ways, including how effective he is inside, Richard. Yeah, B.A., we don't see that as much as we used to. Big men dominating down low, but Embiid is an exception. A center with a deadly mix of dominance down low and skill work outside. Now here's Horton Tucker. He came away with 14 points in his last game. And that's how you lead a team, literally. Philadelphia has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Harris up top. Brown grabs the board. For Denver, they've got three of six shots to go here in the second quarter. Outside Horton Tucker. Jokic the screen. Misses the three. And they're plus five on the boys after that rebound. Here's Joseph. No point so far. Harris up top. It's hauled in by Foster. Had enough room to finish, and that's one he'll usually make. Outside, Horton Tucker. To the wing, right side. Embiid against Jokic. Shoots over Embiid. Jokic, no good. And Harris has got the ball here for Philadelphia. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And where the Sixers really separate themselves, Richard, elite in both three-point and free-throw percentage. Yeah, with Embiid doing what he does, you're going to get a lot of free throws. And you're going to get looks from range because of the amount of attention that he gets. And the 76ers call time here. And it's a completely new group here for the Nuggets. And the 76ers making a change here. The first free throw is good. Both free throws good from Beverly. The Nuggets shooting just 38% in this quarter. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Gordon, the pass to Caldwell Pope. They kick it out to Murray. Off target with the three. 
That is not a guy you want to allow open looks from range. Lucky for the defense, he just couldn't get it to go. And here's MP from outside. Good! Mm -hmm. Another from three. Buries his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable, B.A. Unbelievable. Dodgy passes to Porter. Caldwell Pope against Beverly. Down to five on the shot clock. Murray, no good. And his struggles have been apparent. Unable to make an impact score in the ball. And again for three. Ooh, you can tell he's feeling it right now. <laughs> B.A., he's on fire. Naji passes to Caldwell Pope. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Caldwell Pope's got himself on the board with a three there. From deep, MP connects again from distance. He's been on the money from deep. Definitely looking to shoot as much as possible. A dominating first half of play, and so far, it hasn't been close. Sixers ahead, delivering the blowout. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. Welcome. First up on the agenda tonight, let's see how the Rookie of the Year race is shaping up. Another year, another sensational rookie class. You look at this list. I think you can make a case for each one of them. Yeah, it's not as easy as a decision as it was my rookie year. And now reviewing that first half of our featured game, it's been a spectacular showing from MP. Well, look, I think he's out to set a record or something. He's completely focused on punishing the opponent at the arc. Bomb after bomb after bomb after bomb. That's the kind of game it's become. That does it for halftime. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive and it probably has to happen quickly. Hey, you look at MP in this game, he's been everywhere. You just love his patience offensively in the first half. Waited until he got the looks he wanted. You love guys who can get their shots within the flow of the offense. So on the floor for Philadelphia, Kawhi Leonard out there with Joel Embiid. Then there's LeBron James, then it's MP, and it's Maxi in at the two. From deep, MP knocks down the long J. MP's got 39. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. Thanks, guys. Well, MP in their last time out against the Clippers delivered quite a performance. He ended up with a jaw-dropping amount of points, and as always, a lot of those points came in bunches of three. A game that nobody will soon forget, that's for sure. How is he going to follow that up tonight? Another one falls! Mm -hmm. Amazing! And now he is tied for the second most 40-point games in an NBA season. What an incredible year. Boy, he's brought it every night, and nobody seems to have the answer for him. Finished off the break. MP's got 44. He's been dominant all game long. Nobody on the floor can stop him. And look, let's just say he knows it. To the paint. Here's Gordon. And Gordon with the big finish. Good awareness by Murray. Sees a hole in the defense and feeds the guy ready to exploit it. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. The officials were right on top of that one. First team foul. That free throw good from James. So much talk about what should be done with the regular season, RJ. Yeah, players and teams have kind of really started downplaying the importance of the regular season, but not the smart ones. Part of that is, you know, the media obsession with rings and ring counting, but the regular season matters, and I do not believe that they should shorten it at all. Their execution after halftime has been excellent, making their first four. James, outside. Gordon against Leonard. Pass to Embiid. Up top, Maxi. Now here's MP. From downtown. Good! Another from three. 
He's been on the money from deep. Definitely looking to shoot as much as possible. Murray, no good. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. Yeah, and the risk now is that he gets inside his own head. Time to take deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and let the game come to you. I mean, no comment, but this is just unreal. Maxi against Caldwell Pope. Murray for three. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Embiid's got four rebounds in the game. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Releases. Again, Philadelphia. Nice feed by MP, a popular guy in this locker room. And now we're three minutes into this third quarter of play. Murray for three. Murray can't get that one to fall. This is the definition of forcing it. He's trying to get himself going, but taking tough shots just won't do it. MP way outside. Another three for Philadelphia. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Denver's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. They just look so overwhelmed inside. Yeah, that's why they continue to get attacked. And then Embiid with the dunk. Get out of that man's way. Embiid throwing down that power finish. And they double up Murray. Here's Jokic. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Embiid's got five rebounds tonight. Inside. Here's Leonard. Good. And the assist goes to MP. MP's got three assists tonight. The assist numbers certainly stand out. They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Outside Porter. Cash money on the open jump shot. Porter's gotten four this quarter. Catch and release. Porter Jr. is so quick. Tough to close out on. MP finds Embiid. James, outside, on the wing, MP. The three ball, good! That's another bucket. And he's been dominant so far in this one. Shouldering the offense, really taking it to the opposition. Murray, no good. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Outside Maxi, pass to Leonard. Leonard, double team. Puts up a three. And MP with a basket on the assist from Maxi. MP's got 59 points. Ooh, he's been the guy tonight. Really impressive performance. Down low. Here's Jokic. And Jokic throws it down. Powerful stuff from the Joker. The defense doesn't want any of that. And I don't blame him. And so it's Philadelphia showing no mercy and just piling it on, it looking dominant and focused right now. And their three-point shooting a bit. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. We've got Christian Brown. Nikola Jokic is out there with Taylor and Horton Tucker. And it's Foster in at the force line. That's the group in the game for the Nuggets. And here's MP from outside. And good! There's another! That's 62 points. 62. Amazing. A remarkable performance from him so far. Pass to Horton Tucker. All sorts of time. Rebound by the 76ers. Got a good look there, but just not able to hit from the mid-range. To the inside, Gobert. Oh, and Gobert powers it home. You're best to get out of Gobert's way. You don't want to be on the wrong end of that dunk. And the foul called on MP. That's his first foul of the game. And while we have a second, what rule changes, if any, would you like the NBA to consider, Richard? Well, how about this? Instead of rule changes, I want to talk about something that I want them to keep the same. I want them to keep the same 82-game season. That's the same that Bill Russell played, that Kareem Abdul-Jabbar played. They weren't flying private. They didn't have five trainers. They didn't have all of this technology. And these guys put up outstanding seasons and played 82 games. That was the benchmark, and I think doing that and changing that would mess with history. So assertive at the arc. Jackson will not hesitate to take the shot. Harris outside. 
On the wing, MP. Defended by Jackson. MP shot is good. In today's game, you can never afford to get beat in the three-point battle. Jackson against MP. Out left to the wing. Here's Jokic. That basket is good. Off the assist from Jackson. And it's Jackson's responsibility to find his open teammates in a terrific dime there. Gobert finds MP. There's the three. Connects again MP. from distance. Man, he's really launching them from outside the arc. Man, so locked in. Feeling confident in his three-point shot tonight. Jackson for three. Philadelphia grabs the miss. On the wing, MP. Defended by Jackson. MP shot is off. For Denver, they've gone two of five from the field in this final quarter. The 11-footer, that went a little long. The 76ers have gotten four or five attempts to fall so far in the fourth. To the left side wing. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. Good. He hits again. 71 points and no end in sight. He's in the zone. The defense looks helpless. Outside Horton Tucker. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. And Harris has got the ball here for the 76ers. Shot from the wing. The rebound by Jackson. I don't know if he got in his own head there or what, because the defense can't really take credit for that miss. The Nuggets with another miss. There's no way that's the best look this offense can produce. And you couldn't get a better shot off? Like, come on, you got to make the extra pass. Like, being a teammate will go so far in this league. Reed passes to Gobert. From deep, MP. And the 76ers, MP. another three. three. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. In the modern NBA, you have to hit threes to win games. And they've made that adjustment since the break. Can they get it? Jokic, no good. Fantastic defense, giving full effort. And you can see how scary this team can be when everything is clicking for them. Just a terrific performance for the 76ers. And the disparity in the talent was obvious by the end. Sometimes you just don't have enough ammunition to compete. Yeah, B.A., just a total beatdown. And the next time these teams meet, <laughs> I can't imagine it'll be any different. And this team is something else. 64 wins. These guys have had quite the year. And with this one all but in the record books, they set the tone in the first of what will be only two meetings between these teams. And as it was happening, as it was building, you knew this was a monster game for MP. Anytime they needed a bucket, they put the ball in his hands and say, go make a play. It was impressive to watch. And here's MP from outside. And it's good. He hits another one. Oh, and there's 80 points. Oh, wow. Just wow. This guy is on another level. Now here's Horton Tucker. He's guarded closely. Drains it from nine feet away. It's nice they found their rhythm here, but the clock is just not their friend. It's a shame, really. If they've been playing like this last quarter, they might be in a different situation right now. And again! <laughs> this game has his name written all over it. He has been phenomenal. An offensive onslaught. Jackson for three. It's hauled in by the Sixers. He hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. Yeah, straight up, guys. Like, he's ice cold, like freezing. What's colder than cold? But you don't have to shoot it, my guy. It's okay to pass the ball. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. And let me tell you, as a team, you have to hit your stride right at the crucial moments. They put this game away in style. So no problem for Philadelphia as they get the win. To walk into enemy territory and deliver a performance like that, that says a lot about this squad. They really came in looking confident.